Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome to our next lesson where we're going to, in this series where we're going to be learning about eloquent relationships. And in this one we're going to be dealing with two, we're going to has one through or the has many through relationship. There's not a distinct difference between the two. This one returns back, the has one bill basically returns only uh, one record from the database. And the has many through will basically turn a collection that you need to iterate over in your, obviously in your view and stuff like that. Okay, so how do we set up this relationship? Now I'm going to have a, a hypothetical situation right now. We've got a plumber, a basically a website where plumbers can have clients and the clients can basically refer work basically to the plumber. So a plumber has many clients. Uh, clients belongs to the plumber so basically the relationship type is here the plumber as you can see that is the parent and the client here is basically the child as you can see the parent has many children and the children belongs to the parent so we under the client id right the clients here we expect a parent id or plumber id Right, and the same thing is we've got a client has many referrals. As you can see, this is the parent and the referral, basically, this is the child. So under the child element, we expect in the database under referrals to be a uh, ID or client ID. Now, the thing is what we want to do is we want to access basically the plumber so referrals through the client. So we want to see, the plumber want to see how many referrals they get from X client. So how do we set up that kind of relationship? So if we want to query in the database like uh, plumber, uh, let's say they call it like referrals, referrals is equal to plumber. Okay, we're going to accept an ID like this. Um, just make it like find ID, and then please get me the referrals right so basically that's the kind of relationship we want to set up so basically the plumber can find the id basically of the let me just make it more clear the client and then basically get the referral so basically we want to search the referrals through the client okay so that's the kind of relationship we want to has through the clients right so that's the kind of thing we want to try and set up in this one so the thing is i created three models um all right let's create three models so i will just pause the video or speed up the video for you guys and i will just create three models with their migrations right here okay so i'm um, the first one i'm going to do is the plumber then the client then the referrals and you obviously can do the same if you want all right, so as you guys can see i got my models i got my client model plumber model the referral model and obviously the migrations right there Right, so how do we set up the relationships in our models? Let's start with our first one, the plumber and the client. Right, since we already done that, so this will be mostly a refresh for you guys, but I will go through as if it's the first time you're watching the series. Right, so let's go to the plumber model. All right, so basically the plumber uh, is basically uh, many clients, so we're just going to put the clients. If it is a has a uh, uh, is one relationship one to one to the client you will put a singular right here and not plural okay in this case it's a is many okay so we type in that and we basically are going to return uh, this as many okay and then obviously we want to add the client class like this Okay. So what Eloquent now will assume, because the plumber is the parent, okay, and the client is the child. So you will assume under the client's database, in your database called clients, there will be a parent ID of plumber ID. Okay. So since we're following the convention, we will add that to our database, but if you don't do that, you need to add the parameter right there. So let's go to our client ID and do the inverse of that relationship. So the inverse of that is basically a belongs to. So we're going to do public function 
uh, plumber okay so the plumber obviously and then we're going to do a belongs to okay and then we're going to do a return this meaning the client belongs to the plumber class okay as i've mentioned with the previous one and the plumber if the convention is laravel will look at the parent and it will in the method right here and will look for basically the plumber id if you don't specify you don't have to specify it in here because it will automatically if you're following the convention you don't need to add that so but if you don't follow the convention please if you use something else just add it in here otherwise you will get a uh, run into an error and things like that okay since we're following the convention i'm going to leave it as is all right so the next part of a relationship is between the client and the referral okay so under the client we're basically going to create another method called public function okay in this case it will basically be the referrals referrals like this because a client can has, have many referrals so we can just do it like this referrals and we can just do has many and then basically we can return that relationship this has many because the parent is the client in this case and the child is the, the referrals okay so referrals and we can put it in the referral class so now in this case because the client is the parent with the laravel or eloquent expects to be in the referrals database a uh, uh, column with the client id like that but since we're following the convention we will put the client id we don't need to edit here we need to specify it in there okay so that's it right now let's do the inverse of that relationship basically inside the referrals uh, model so in here basically what we're going to do is we're going to do the public uh, function and client now this is basically the inverse because the client is basically the parent is going to do a belongs to and make basically we're going to do a return this belongs to the client class okay and obviously like i said before if you're following the convention you don't need to add the client id in here okay like this but if you don't follow it you can obviously add your other foreign key that you want to use in here okay now the next part of our relationship is basically the plumber has many referrals through the client how do we set up that relationship so basically what we do in our plumber model we can do a public function and i'm gonna call this one um, as you see i've called just referrals all right so in there we're going to just call the referrals like this now if i change this to uh, client referrals like that if i did change it like this all right then in here i would just call it like this basically in whatever controller you have then you will call it like that but for here i'm just going to copy it it's not to be confused with this referrals right here between this referrals right here okay but anyway let me do it like this okay so with referrals let me call it client referrals okay so how do we set up this relationship i'm just going to do the has many has many through because if it is a has one let me just let's just start with the has many first then basically we're going to return this has many through now the first parameter basically this is the class that you want to access spelling way all right this is a class basically you want to access in this case i want to act the plumber want to access the referral so this will be the first parameter right here okay now the second parameter is basically the intermediary um, class that you want to basically help you get to your final destination okay so so which one will that be that will be the client class right here all right now the thing is now if you didn't use like i said explained before so let me just 
This is the final class you want to access, and this is the intermediate class. Okay, so the plumber has many referrals through the client class. Right now, if you didn't use the convention of the plumber ID and things like that, like I've shown you, then this part right here will basically be the plumber ID. And this part right here, the fifth, fourth column right here, this will basically be your client ID. Right. So if you didn't use the convention, just remember to change them right here. Okay. So since we're using the convention, I don't need to add them right there. I can just leave it as is. Okay. And all is good. Now, the only difference now between the has many through and has one through, let me show you. I'm just. The only thing is it was with an S and this just changed to has one. One through. And obviously this will also change to has one. Now this part right here, this, let me just make sure. Is it imported? Yes, now it's imported at the top. That's why it's giving me an error right there. Right, now the thing is, this part right here will only return one instance of that class, basically of the referral, only one record. Now this one right here will basically return the collection of the records. Okay, so for us, I'm just going to comment this one out, and we're just going to work with the has many through. Okay, like that, because there's a client might have many referrals for the plumber okay so how do we set up now the schema for this kind of relationship so if we go to our database schema right here under the plumbers we don't need to add any foreign keys right there okay but under our clients table right here we we remember um let's do a table just make this be a bit bigger foreign foreign id Okay, so if this is the plumber's ID I was talking about, so if you add your plumber's plumber ID like this, so if you didn't add your plumber ID, let me just put it in the plumber's table and on delete, there's code. Okay, so if you didn't do this, and let's say you decided that your foreign key will be you or your ID, just as an example, then you have to change inside your client ID right here, the plumber one right here, then you have to change that to your UU ID. Okay, that is just an example. Okay, so just remember that if your schema shows is different from the convention, then please just change it also in your, obviously there's more records in here, but I'm only concerned about the foreign key constraints. So if someone wants to mention that, the reason why I don't add anything is because I'm not going to migrate the database. I'm just showing you how to set up the relationship correctly. All right. And the next part is obviously we need to set up in our referral database. Right here, we need to obviously set up the client ID as well. So I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to type it again. Just paste it in there. And this is obviously going to rent a reference the client ID uh, constraint to the client table database basically. So that's our foreign key constraint right here. So basically if you change this to something else uh, just make sure in the foreign that belongs to right here that you mention the right uh, foreign keys right here as well. And inside your plumber model, obviously, if you change those kind of things, or remember the first one is the, the plumber ID right here. If you change it differently, just change it here. And the second one is obviously your client ID. So if this, this, so this is the third column is for your plumber and that is for your client. So if you change them, just add them in here. All right. Because obviously you're not going to build a client, client and plumbers and things database. But yes, it is just to remember how to do it. All right. So let me just close this. All right. So the part that we have done is we've set up those relationships. We set up that and we obviously the plumber 
through the client. So basically, we can get all the referrals basically through the client right there. And so if we open up, let me just open up our plumber model again. So this is basically how we set up the, the relationship. All right. So the referrals is the class that we want to access. And this is our intermediary class right there. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a like. If you didn't like it, please give it a dislike. And yes, constructive or positive, negative, whatever kind of feedback you have for me, please give it for me in the comment section. And yes, in the next one, we'll be learning about many to many relationships. All right. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.